Okay, so we're recording now. All right, so lesson 109 of A Course in Miracles, I Rest in God. So we ask for rest today and quietness, unshaken by the world's appearances. I really like this, um, unshaken by the world's appearances. So whatever is appearing for me is just something that the ego has given meaning to, and so seems to have a special significance. So if uh, the ego is interested in time, then time appears. If it's interested in donuts, then donuts seem to appear in consciousness or in thoughts. So whatever is appearing uh, is coming up because the ego has, is, has some form of interest or identification with it. Time, body, feelings, separation, this and that. So the next line, we ask for peace and stillness. In the midst of all the turmoil bo uh, born of clashing dreams, we ask for safety and happiness. Although we seem to look on danger and on sorrow, and we have the thought that will answer uh, our asking with what we request. I rest in God. This thought will bring to you the rest and quiet, peace and stillness, and the safety and the happiness you seek. I rest in God. This thought has power to wake the sleeping truth in you, whose vision sees beyond appearances to that same truth in everyone and everything there is. For me, um, what this uh, segment is saying, as one lets go of the identifying with the limited thoughts of the ego, of the identity of the separate self and of all the things that it projects meaning onto, that I that experience of being in separation to otherness starts to disappear and one starts to get experiences of oneness, i.e. there isn't a separate me, uh, for example, that's in this room, but there is a universal oneness that is actually the essence of all of us, but there is no, that separation starts to dissolve in that. So here is the end of suffering for all the world. And everyone who ever came and yet will come to linger for a while. Here is the thought in which the Son of God is born again to recognize himself. I rest in God. Completely undismayed, this thought will carry you through storms and strife, past misery and pain, past loss and death, and onward to the certainty of God. There is no suffering it cannot heal. There is no problem that it cannot solve, and no appearance but will turn to truth before the eyes of you who rest in God. This is the day of peace. You rest in God, and while the world is torn by winds of hate, your rest remains completely undisturbed. For me, like this is, um, yours is, yours is the rest of truth. That's for me when you're in these deeper stillness or peace or the, or oneness or the deeper observer or you felt out all your feelings and are no longer hooking into thoughts uh, there there comes the peace that is undisturbed changeless and is not affected by transitory things in the world so appearances cannot intrude on you you call to all to join you in your rest and they will hear and come to you because you rest in god they will not hear another voice than yours because you gave your voice to God and now you rest in him and let him speak through you. In him you have no cares and no concerns, no burdens, no anxiety, no pain, no fear of future and no past regrets. regrets. In, time, in timelessness you rest while time goes by goes by without its touch on you, for your rest can never change in any way at all. I just wanted to comment on that, the timelessness. If, if there's no, if the limited ego is not interested or giving meaning or making time special, then you experience the timelessness, the unchanging timelessness within, within. So, and as you close your eyes, sink into stillness. Let these periods of rest and respite reassure your mind that all its frantic fantasies were but the dreams of fever that has passed away. 
Let it be still and thankfully accept its healing. No more fearful dreams will come now that you rest in God. Take time today to slip away from dreams and into peace. Each hour that you take your rest today, a tired mind is suddenly made glad. A bird with broken wings begins to sing. A stream, a uh, long dry, begins to flow again. I just make a comment on that. I mean, that's actually true. And, uh, you know, Hawkins has calibrated that with muscle testing. For people who go to higher levels of consciousness, the amount of love and power and the miraculous unfolding out of them um, is transformational. You know, the um, people suddenly have energy in front of saints, cancers disappear, have, people become happy and get out of their dark states. So it's actually true as you rest in God. So the, wor the world is born again each time you rest. And hourly, remember that you came to bring the peace of God into the world, that it might take its rest along with you. With each five minutes that you rest today, the world is near awaking. And the time when rest will be the only thing there is comes closer to all worn and tired minds, too weary now to go their way alone. And they will hear the bird begin, begin to sing and see the stream begin to flow again, with hope reborn and energy restored to walk with lightened steps along the road that suddenly seems easy as they go. You rest within the peace of God today and call upon your brothers from your rest to draw them to their rest along with you. You will be faithful to your trust today, forgetting no one, bringing everyone into the boundless circle of your peace, the holy sanctuary where you rest. Open the temple doors and let them come from far across the world and near as well. Your distant brothers and your closest friends, bid them all enter here and rest with you. You rest within the peace of God today, quiet and unafraid. Each brother comes to take his rest and offer it to you. We rest together here, for thus our rest is made complete. And what we give today, we have received already. Time is not the guardian of what we give today. We give to those unborn and those passed by, to every thought of God, and to the mind in which those thoughts were born and where they rest. And we, we remind them of their resting place each time we tell ourselves, I rest in God. Okay, I'm stopping the recording now. <laughs>